Taking pictures is, for many, the best way to save special moments, it is so easy and fast that it only takes a couple of seconds, and you can capture any image. That is why there are hundreds of photographs, which function as true proof and testimony that something did, or did not happen. In this video we will see some of those photos, as well as the stories behind them, some of them are very shocking and surprising. As always we will start at level 1, and end at level 5 where the most interesting stories are found. Level 1. This photo may not look very interesting, but first, you should look at what is in the background, top right. That is the man in the tank, in Tiananmen Square. Believed to be student Wang Weilin, this photo was taken minutes before the famous video. No one knows what happened to Weilin. It is known that he was captured, he may still be in prison, or he may have fled to another country. This is the Hartley Violin, owned by Wallace Hartley, the bandleader and principal violinist on the Titanic. It was the one he carried and played on the night the ship sank. Survivors said they saw Hartley and his band on the ship's deck during the sinking, playing to calm passengers, as they climbed into the insufficient lifeboats. Hartley and all the band members died in the sinking. We have his violin because, at some unknown time before his death, Hartley put the violin back in its case for safekeeping. That's how it was found, floating in the wreckage, by one of the ships sent to recover bodies from the wreck. They were able to identify it as Hartley's, thanks to an engraved brass plate, and returned it to his fiancée, who kept it until her death. Her family authenticated it and sold it for $1.6 million to an organization that collects Titanic artifacts. The boy in the photo is Warren Bernard, and, as we can see, he's running to see his father. His father was going to war, so it would be the last time Warren would see his father, being this the last picture of him. This family was in the middle of a family photo shoot, when suddenly a snake decided to attack. They all survived, because the dog fought to defend his family, so everything was just a scare, and as proof that this happened, they have this photo. As you can see, this is a simple photo of a drop of milk, the reason why it is so important, is because it took Harold Edgerton, the author of the photo, 20 years to make it. It took him 20 years to develop a flash that captures things that were too fast for the human eye to perceive. This photo shows the result of those 20 years of dedication. Level 2 In this photo we can see John Lennon, who signed an autograph to his killer, Mark Chapman, just hours before the murder. Afterwards he asked him, is that all? Many speculate that John Lennon was aware of what Chapman was planning and that is why he asked the question, as Chapman was even carrying the gun at the time. This photo shows Terry Jo Duperalt, an 11-year-old girl who spent days floating in the ocean, after the captain of her boat, murdered her entire family, but she managed to escape on a lifeboat. After four days floating, battling hallucinations and sunburn, she was found in her lifeboat, and this picture was taken. This photo appears to be just a couple of astronauts, posing in zero gravity, happy to have such an amazing opportunity, as astronauts are known to do. Meanwhile, they have no idea that their space shuttle is irreparably damaged. The tiles were damaged during the shuttle's launch into space by foam. No one knew the severity of the damage until it disintegrated. The Reddit user, Moto24, posted this image, showing the last footprints of a supposed girl, who wandered into the lake in the background. Many comments claim that this is a lie, and he made the footprints to get attention on the internet, however, you can never be sure, and maybe this really happened. Level 3 This is physicist, Harold Agnew, holding the nuclear core of the Fat Man atomic bomb, which was dropped on Nagasaki in 1945. The bomb killed around 80,000 people, many of whom died from the long-term effects caused by the bomb, such as radiation sickness and leukemia. In this photo taken in 1933, we can see J.P. Morgan, a well-known Wall Street banker, who was considered the richest man during those years, and Lia Graff, a Ringling Brothers, and Barnum and Bailey circus performer. This photo made her an overnight sensation, but she could not handle all the attention she received. 
she would receive a lot of criticism due to her height, so she decided to quit her job and returned home to Germany. Years later, in 1941, she was arrested and sent to Auschwitz, because she was Jewish, and was considered an unworthy human being. Throughout history, there have been several cases of children raised in social isolation with little or no contact with other humans, but this case was really particular. The girl in the photo is Jeannie. She was tied to a chair in a room throughout her entire childhood, and was punished when she made noise. Eventually she was found, and they were able to rescue her. They tried to teach her to talk, but she couldn't communicate even a little. As far as we know now, she was curious, intelligent and eager to learn. It's just that her brain had literally lost the opportunity to know language due to the time she spent locked up and tied up. Both parents were charged with abuse, however, Jeannie's father committed suicide the day before his court appearance, leaving a note that read, the world will never understand. This photo belongs to a boy who went missing while hiking at a location on the big island of Hawaii. He texted some photos of the scenery to his family while hiking. After the boy did not return home, his family noticed something. Someone was lurking in the bushes in the photos he had sent. It is difficult to say whether or not someone was actually following him, but according to his family, the area was quite dangerous and many people had gone missing before. Level 4 Ayano Tokumasu, the girl in the red sweater, was a Japanese exchange student. In the photo, we can see her seconds before she accidentally slipped and fell into Niagara Falls. Unfortunately no trace of her could ever be found. Reynaldo Dagsa, a local councilman in Manila, Philippines, was celebrating on New Year's Eve with his family, when he was shot in the chest, and later died on the way to the hospital. His family later discovered that Dagsa, had accidentally captured his killer on camera, while taking a picture of his wife and daughter, moments before he was shot. The photo was handed over to police and the Philippine Daily Inquirer, which published the photo on its front page. This resulted in the identification and arrest of the assassin, a suspected car thief named Michael Gonzalez, whose arrest was ordered by Dagsa. This happy father and daughter photo was taken moments before the red car exploded. The bomb, planted by a group known as the IRA, was in this red car, and killed 29 people, including the photographer who took this photo. Fortunately, the father and daughter in the photo survived. This is the main image of Franklin Delano Floyd. The girl is actually Floyd's stepdaughter, Suzanne Marie Savakis, whom he had kidnapped around 1974, when Suzanne was less than 10 years old. He would go on to raise her as his daughter, putting her through high school under various pseudonyms, and have a child with her in 1988. Later he would marry her in 1989, under the name Tanya Hughes. By 1990, Suzanne had decided to leave Floyd and take her son, Michael, with her. In April of that year, she was found battered and bruised on the shoulder of a road, and subsequently died in the hospital. Michael entered foster care and was adopted, only to be kidnapped by Floyd in 1994 and never be seen again. Level 5 This photo was taken at the station nightclub, during Great White's performance, before it caught fire from fireworks, leaving 100 people dead. The blaze began when the band Great White, took the stage and their tour manager set off four large fireworks. Flames soon appeared on the walls, on either side of the stage, and spread quickly along the foam that lined the walls and ceiling, intended to dampen sound. There were no sprinklers, so the fire spread in less than five minutes. It was the fourth deadliest nightclub fire in US history. This is a photo of First Lady Rosalind Carter, in 1978, shaking hands with the serial killer, John Wayne Gacy, who was active in politics at the time. By then, he had already killed more than 20 young men. He was known to wear a clown costume, and went by the name, Pogo the Clown. He wore an S on his lapel, given to him by the Secret Service to indicate that he had been given security clearance. The photo was signed, to John Gacy, best wishes, Rosalind Carter. 
According to those who knew the Whitakers, they appeared to be the model family, wealthy, trouble-free, and with a good relationship with each other. However, something would soon happen, and would surprise everyone. The boy on the right, Bart Whitaker, had paid two of his companions, to kill his family that night. They would kill the mother and brother, but the father, who took the picture, survived. Afterwards, Bart was sentenced to death, and, according to him, he hated his family and only wanted their money. His father objected to the death sentence, so the governor of Texas reduced his sentence, and he is now serving a life sentence. A member of the public captured this tragic photo. During a fire in China, a pair of firefighters were swept away from a balcony as they tried to extinguish the fire. Lu Ju was pushed towards the balcony by a sudden explosion before his colleague tried to grab his hand and save his life. Unfortunately, the weight was too much for him to hold, and the pair were pulled from the apartment and fell to the pavement below. Fire brigade spokesman said, firemen always watch each other's backs, they look after each other, this tragic death shows the strength of that bond between colleagues. This photo was taken of a group of survivors, of the crash of Uruguayan Air Force, Flight 571, in the Andes. In the photo they are all smiling, but it is frightening to have to imagine what they went through. After being stranded, they spent several days without food or water. They managed to survive because they decided to resort to cannibalism for food. They were stranded for 72 days, and finally 16 survivors were rescued. The crazy thing is that they were only 28 kilometers away from a hotel, but they walked in another direction to look for help.